Thanks for tuning in. And in this tutorial, we're going to show you how to create a campaign in Avocado. So the first thing about your campaign is what are you going to name it? The name is not going to show up to the user, but it's going to be important because it's how you send the campaign later on. So this is a welcome campaign. We're just greeting new customers on our website and we're gonna send them a short message to say that they signed up. Now, if we want to follow up with them 24 hours later, we're gonna create this follow-up message with a delay of 24 hours. However, if someone responds during that time, we don't want to send them a message that doesn't respect the information that they've already provided. So we're going to cancel this automatic follow-up if they have already responded. So one thing to note here is because these are messages and you wanna be careful of how many segments you're using, we're going to highlight if there are any special characters that reduce the number of characters that you can use in your message. Now, if you want to add another follow-up, maybe a couple days later, again, just keeping in touch with those people who haven't responded yet, we can always add another step to this campaign. And we see that it automatically titled the second follow-up message, a welcome to. So now when we go in and look at the campaign, it's split into a first message and this welcome to is now our follow-up. Now, if we want to send this campaign, we take the shortcut for that first message, and that is campaign underscore welcome, and we can send that as a message. And that's how we're going to trigger someone being enrolled in this campaign. So the important thing there is that we can send that shortcut anywhere. It can be an auto response or a broadcast message. For right now, we're just gonna send it in this one-on-one -on -one behavior to demonstrate how it works. So there's the shortcut, campaign underscore welcome, and it automatically sends that first message and schedules the follow-up. As we mentioned before, if this user responds to the message, that follow-up will be automatically canceled. Furthermore, when that follow-up message sends, we're actually going to kick off another follow-up as we showed earlier when we created the campaign. We hope this is an easy to use tool for you to start sending follow-up messages in your texting, and we're excited to see how you use it. As always, reach out if you have any questions.